What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Phil Shocker, the 90s Sitch Hedgehog here with our week four makeup battle for the Red League. We're going against Borigo, who I believe I have faced before once, but I don't remember. But we are here for this week four battle. If you guys are excited, leave a like, if you haven't already, subscribe if you are new. Join the Phil Shocker crew today because you'll be filling with the king of the crew. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and just send him the challenge. Uh, let me just double check, make sure my abilities are right. Actually, I didn't click on ability for you. Shoot. Uh, reach back, patty whack, give a dog a bone. Um, um, let's go with, let's just do Defiant. Just, there's a decent chance for that. So let's go ahead and just do that, and we're going to send the challenge. All right, we're going to be sending the challenge, guys. If you are excited, leave a like, haven't already, subscribe if you are new. Join the Photoshop crew today because you'll be filled with the king of the crew. But, um, yeah, I'm really excited for this matchup. Um, again, we're just going to have some fun here. And, wow, he doesn't bring the Spectre Ear. That is really interesting. He does not bring Spectre Ear against me. So he doesn't even bring Savali. Wow. He does bring the Tangrove, which I'm a little surprised a little bit about, not gonna lie. Uh, Skullfee, no Spectre Rear, though, but instead the Togekiss, which is also very interesting. Really interesting. So my Dawn fan is not as useful in this matchup, so that's a thing to know right there. My Zuko is pretty much free to go for Fire-type moves right here. Uh, Avatar looks pretty much free to click a lot of things. My Tilted Towers, oh my god, my Tilted Towers is so good here. My Prim Arena looks really, really good as well. So, we really can't do much here with Kali now, but it's decently good. Donnie is also really, really good. I think I'm going to lead off with Donnie right here. Um, Just on the off chance he leads off here with... Yes, that's what I was thought. So right here, I'm just going to go fly... I'm going for the knockoff here. You can either U turn or grass knot me here, that's fine. Uh, going for the knockoff here is probably my safest switch right here, safest play right here. Um, his best play is to go into Tangrove here, or Sloking, or maybe Togekiss. Depends if he's going to go for the knockoff or goes for the grass knot. I do have my sturdy, so I guarantee live anyone hit here. This is just a free knockoff right here, though. If he goes into the Gallade on this prediction with the Justify boost, that is going to be a god tier play. But then he risks basically losing it to an Earthquake. Unless he clicks Strain Punch, which could then be something different. If he hards out, I get my Rock Sub. If he doesn't hard out, I get a knockoff. So this was really a great play right here for me. I literally saw no downside because it looked like he was going to most likely lead with Thunderous. Because why not? So we do need to be careful with Primarina because if he is Sleep Powder on Tangrove, we got to be very careful. I'm a little surprised he did bring the Tangrove versus me. I mean, it's not necessarily terrible versus me. I'm just a little surprised that he would bring it, especially when he knows Spectre. So he's in a U-turn, gets a crit. So he goes Togekiss. That's fine with me. So we're going to knock. Get rid of Heavy Duty Boots, which is good. Alright, so we look at that U-turn damage from Thunderous there. Um, we look at U-turn here. U-turn versus Dawn Fan. Uh, with a crit. Oh god, man. This is in my stomach. Should do about 16 to 19%. So that was a low roll crit. So looking at Toga Kiss. Toga Kiss here. Let's just say it's UUD Fog. Calm Nature. Um, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to set up my Stealth Rocks here. So he's Nasty Plot. I expect an air slash here. Do I need my Dawn fan is the question. Hmm. 
Hmm. I think I still need Dawn Fan. So what I think I'm gonna do. I necessarily don't need Cali. So he's nasty plot. Let me look at here. Toe. Get kiss. Let's just say a nasty plot set if he's max. If he's no bulk. Versus Zera. Uh if he's max special attack, this should probably do about 50% then to me, right? Not exactly. And I can just uh blaze kick or something. How much is this doing to my Cali? I don't really need Perugly. Perugly would have been nice here. So if he's got the max, if he's max special attack, this should kill me. So I'm just going with Perugly here. He has Flamethrower. Okay, so he predicted the switch in there. So I'm going to go Zuko here. How much does Infernape do? Flare Blitz does not kill... I think I have to pressure him with Avatar here. So, I've got two plays I can make here. I can Blaze Kick here. Um, let me look at a uh, Flamethrower here. Interesting, he's not Heat Wave. Heat Wave, I, well, I think Flamethrower is a bit stronger. So, Perugly. Plus two. Why is that show no like? Why is that show that killed? That's weird. Is he mod? Is he modest? No. How did he kill me? Oh, oh, I, oh! It's because I'm thick fat on here. So, without the Fick Fat. That was a guaranteed roll. Dang, dude. And that's right when I took off Fick Fat, too. <laughs> mm. So, looking at this Togekiss now. Uh, Blaze Kick does a nice little chunk here. I think I'm going to double out here. I'm going to double out to Zuko here. Yes! Get that play right. Let's go. Right here, I'm going to U-turn here. Nice! So he stays in. He's probably going for a Sleep Powder or a knockoff here. I'm going to go Donnie here to bait him for going Earthquake. Interesting. I'm going to let him put me to sleep. I'm going to let him put me to sleep. We could be in a little bit of predicament right now, but it's fine. Again, Celesteel, I think, is looking like the potentially the win con here. So we're faster. It was Okaberry. All right. So he was with fire reducing the So now I got to think on this play here. He can do one of two things right here. He can either go for another seed bomb. Or he's going to go for the sleep powder. I'm going to take a gamble here. I'm going to go for the Toxic here. He looks Knock. Okay, so he's revealed Earthquake, Seed Bomb, Knock Off. He's probably going to Seed Bomb here again. So I think I'm just going to let this thing go down here. I'm going to Earthquake for some Chip. Synthesis, okay. 
I think I sacked Donnie here. So, so he doesn't even have it. I'm going to totemize up here. You're going to flamethrower me. I was almost weakness policy too, man. So flamethrower did 55. His Togekiss does not look to be bulky. So Celesteela. Air Slash will do 33 to 39. Flamethrower did 51 to 60. So that's looking like standard timid. Man, right when I took Flash Cannon off too, dude. Flash Cannon would kill here. So I think I want him to bait that I have Flash Cannon. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to Air Slash here. Alright, so Slow King. Slow King. If he's... So that should have done 20 to 23. That did nothing. He's just all vested. Gotta be. 13 to 16. Oh, what are you? Energy ball. 21 to 25. I'm gonna go for the energy ball here, see how much this does. 25%. He's got the flamethrower. Don't burn me. Are you kidding me? He gets the burn. Are we serious? That's so unfortunate, man. Right here, I have to go for the moon blast. It's my only play. Oh my god. God, that sucks, man. Actually, I'm gonna go for the Calm Mind here. That's... It's gonna side shock me here. That sucks. That did 21 to 28. 25, that's about a max roll. That's so dumb. Plus one... Slice Shock. Well, I think we just lost that game now there, guys. I don't want to sound down at the dumps, but that could have very well had us cost. I was almost tempted to go for that Meteor Beam, too. So, he should have done 28 to 33. Yeah, he's looking like standard Spadef. I'll call mine up again. I'm gonna click Draining Kiss here now. Plus two. Plus two. It's gonna side shock me again. I'm gonna Moon Blast here now. You know that's King Hill. Dang it. I could have gotten more recovery. But now he's gonna bring Skullipede here. I have to go for the Surf here. There's no way I'm living this hit. Oh, fuck so much, dude. But now I can freely Blitz here. But I'm probably most likely going to... What can kill Skullipi at this range? I don't have to chance it. I can go for Blaze Kick here. He's got Earthquake. It won't knock me out. He lived. Are you serious? He lived. That's insane. He has to be running some investment then. I should have Flare Blitz. 
Yeah, I think that's going to be game. That sucks. I think we lost that. I... I mean, having a boost wasn't a bad idea versus my team. Damn, dude. Like I said, though, I'm not incredibly mad. Well, now the thing is, with zero... Well, actually... No, I gotta sack Donnie. I have to sack Donnie. That's my only play right now. I have to sack Donnie here. Gets a poison, doesn't matter. That sucks, man. So, I'm gonna knock right here. He's gonna poison jab again. I have to save my Zuko. My Zuko's my only way of potentially winning this game here. Um... I'm going to go for the Volt Switch here. See, Poison Jabs. Okay, we knocked that thing out. So I bring this thing in. So Zuko is at 45%. Is that Blaze range? 45. There's a decent chance we can still win this game. It's a decent chance. It's not a high chance, but it's a decent chance. That gold plead set was actually that the heavy duty boots on gold feed. I'm not gonna lie, that was actually a pretty nice, nice little touch right there. I was not expecting heavy duty boots gold feed. Really good bring on Baringo's part right there. And just like you guys know, I'm not gonna try to sound really. I mean, I'm gonna sound a little salty because especially I wish I wish I had meteor beam, but I mean that you know it's Pokemon like that. You know, uh, we're gonna lose this game. We're gonna fall. Tangrove. So if Tangrove is a physically defensive, we don't kill. I think I just got to hope and kill with Blitz. That's my only rank chance. No, I'm not going to kill, and that's going to be a GG. Because there's no way I can beat the rest of his team. Oh, that's unfortunate, man. Oh. Damn. Well, that sucks. If I had probably had Ice Shard or something, and I could have brought in Dawnpan, Sharded, and I could have kept Zuko and all that healthy. I wish I was Flame Charge a little bit now. Or I had brought Special Ape. Um, special Ape, I guess, wouldn't have been that terrible. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I think he would choke this if he brings in Delayed here. I think what he needs to do is just sack this off. I mean, he knows Plasma Fisting could be basically the end of his team. And he's not Boots. Can this 2 KO? Okay, this can 2 KO. We have a chance. We would have to get a Burn and a Crit on Delayed to basically win this game. He has to sack Thunder is here. He has to. Because if he switches his Gallade, Gallade takes way too much damage. Gallade dies. He's Scarfed. Okay. So he was Scarfed. So if anything, this goes to a 3-0 victory. And what he's going to do now is just going Gallade here. Again, I have to get a crit on Gal I have to get a crit. That's the only way I win this game right now. He was Scarfed Thundy, which I'm not going to lie. I was a little... I mean, not too surprised by that. I mean, it makes a lot of sense. To, you know, make sure I was fast, make sure it was faster than Zero Aura. I'm partially wishing I didn't go Choice Banded, because then I could have maybe won. But I don't see where else I could have gone wrong here. Because in comes Tangro. What, what is he doing here? He's just giving me differential at this point. I should kill this thing here. Unless he's Max Max. Actually, he's Max Max. Does he live this? Tangro. Zara. 38 to 45. He doesn't live this. If he switches out again, he has a good shot to live it. I don't know why he's giving me differential here. Because Zara, I believe, is adamant. That was Jolly. Imagine if I was adamant. Adamant would have been really good in this game. But I went Jolly because I felt like the speed with 
I'm a little surprised though he didn't bring uh Spectreer. I guess he was really concerned about my Manda Buzz and my uh Perugly a little bit. Which would make sense, you know, and honestly even Dusclops to an extent could have been really good against the against it, so Hey, it is what it is, man. Like I said, I'm not gonna be too salty, I'm not gonna be too upset with the game. Um, but GG's to Baringo. He really played that game really well. We played a little sloppy, but ultimately I think we played the game good. I really wish I had packed Energy Ball now. Or if I had packed maybe Substitute, potentially. Actually, I, didn't think I don't think the sub would have mattered because he would have broken it. But I do wish I had packed Energy Ball. I wish I had clicked Draining Kiss there in case I could have potentially knocked him out. Because then I could have maybe lived a Poison Jab and knocked out the Scolipede right there. Uh, Scolipede just got to go ham against us right there. It's really unfortunate. If I had just Flare Blitz, we would have killed Scolipede here. Which is a little unfortunate right there. And I miss. That's lovely. Uh, this should still kill. It does. He gave us Differential, which, I mean, is fine with me. But again, by the way, for a move that's supposed to have a decent chance to crit and burn, you're doing a bad job of it. So then comes Gallade. Um, how much is this going to do Mega Gallade? Mega Gallade. I mean, on the off chance... If we get a crit, if we get a crit here with Blaze Kick, can we knock him out? Nope, that's GG. And don't get it. That's going to be the game. I still don't understand why he sacked off two mons to me. I don't understand that, but... Hey, it is what it is. Again, if we could have, we could have potentially had won that game with plasma fisting relatively. Uh, because if I had plasma fisted, he was, well, actually, depending on his investment, plasma fist would have been a roll to kill. But hey, man, you can't win them all. Like I said, we're gonna here to have some fun. Uh, Zero put in some really good work. Zero got to pick up three extra KOs, which is really nice. Uh, we could have potentially won that game. We should have potentially won that game with Infernape. But I didn't Flare Blitz. I should have Flare Blitz, and then I could have locked into Blaze Kick, which would have been more safer for me. Because if I had locked into Flare Blitz, I knock out the Infer I knock out the uh, Scolipede, and then I can safely go ahead and lock into Blaze Kick. And then Zero Arc could have came in and won the game for us there. So definitely, I should have went with my gut and Flare Blitz. I should have went with my gut and Flare Blitz. But also, another thing would have been if I had just known that the Scolipede was heavy D boots right there, I probably would have clicked Flare Blitz. Because then, the, without a, not mattering whatever defense investment he had, I would have been able to KO that thing. But, hey man, you know, you can't win them all. You gotta try your best, and we did our best. And I think it, we, we could have really won this game 1 or 2 0 on the back of April Zero right there. But, hey, you know, like I said, I'm not gonna be too upset with this loss. We played really, really great. I definitely think uh, we almost brought it back. Again, a crit may have been able to save us potentially, and then we could have then had to rely on another crit to tail, kill Tangrowth. But,. Hey, it's the game we play, guys. But GG's to Baringo. Definitely a uh, good game to him. And if you guys haven't already, like, comment, share, subscribe. Join the Photoshop crew today because you'll be filming with the king of the crew. But until next time, guys, I am Photoshop. And then I say, Chai I will see you guys later. Peace.